Okay, cool. Let me delete the save file. And we'll give this category a go. It'll be pretty sloppy. It'll probably be like a 20 minute time. So let's see. Three, two, one, go. Lots of dialogue to mash through at the beginning. But yeah, it's good to know that you can ground pound on those things. That was not something I was aware of, but that helps you skip like a big section. Not even a big section, but it helps you skip a lot of bouncing slowly in the air. Multi's Vacation is in a place that has a bunch of like spikes and death traps everywhere. I don't know if that's a good idea. Okay, let's see if the um I don't think the FPS changing is actually going to help the um the uh breaking the crates and things. I think it was just because I was too close to the crate and they don't break once you're close. Yeah, I wish it was easier to practice certain sections. The boss and this are the two ones. <laughs> I was wondering if you could sneak by the dialogue. Injury. You don't look. You have like no injuries. Give them a little like a. Uh, what are they called? Like a sling or something. All right. Do twelve on the tutorial. Probably pretty all right. Seems like it at least. All right. Farmy Plaza. Pretty simple level. Some stuff to fall off of, obviously, but there always is. The shadow, the little little dot shadow that the uh, that multi has actually helps a lot. <laughs> Lining this up, pretty good so far. The last one's a little bit awkward because you have to, like you're coming towards the camera. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. I didn't mean to bounce off the box, but we we made it work. The jump was pretty good actually. Under 40 seconds. Pretty great. We got 44 last time I think we did it. On the other category. All right. It's nice that these levels auto uh, send you back the first time you go through for speedrunning wise. And it's awesome that it automatically selects the next level you should be playing. Sliding fast is a very gimme level. You can kind of turn your brain off during it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to the game coming out. Even if I don't end up speedrunning the full game, I'm looking forward to it coming out. I will definitely run whatever the version of any percent is for that, though. I don't think I'll run all power cells. All power cells are just kind of to do if you're um you've only got a demo to play <laughs> at least for me i'm sure people will i'll be very surprised if this game doesn't get a lot of people speedrunning it heck okay well we'll make do you know actually falling there's not the worst thing in the world
Yeah, even making that mistake, like, we're not gonna go much slower. Forty-one instead of forty, basically. That's what the mistake ended up doing. Yeah, we're gonna do Windmill Hill since um. Have I practice Windmill Hill? I've done it. I think I practiced it at the beginning of the No, I don't remember when I practiced it last. I guess we'll see. I'm also assuming that you can do it without doing the boss. Rick. Hi, Rick. Thank you for the hats. It's about a minute in between finishing a level and starting the next one. With the ending cinematic. I mean, obviously there's like the dialogue um, for that one specifically, but. Yeah, we'll take this a little bit slow. It's not really doing that correctly. Oop. Uh, if I'd held it for just a tiny bit longer, I think I would've been fine. Here we go. I got 29 on this before. That's pretty wild. Five seconds slower, just missing that one cycle and taking the other thing a little bit carefully. Yeah, I should be able to do Windmill Hill and then do the boss. But we'll see. And that's just so I don't have to backtrack back to this area to uh, do the last level. Oh, it does lock it. Okay, well, I need to change my splits then. Oops, I need to go this way. Got thrown off a little bit because of that. <laughs> Didn't realize it actually would force you uh, to not do that. Well, I guess we skip that then. How do you do this now? Does it put you back up here afterwards? Because if it puts you back up here afterwards, then... It's really fastest to do the uh, the level like um, oh wow that was a really good jump actually it's fastest just to do the level um, last like make it the last level you do um, before the races. Put on a loading screen for this since it doesn't have a, uh, or a black screen rather. Okay. So I just need to make sure to go back and do that one level before I do the races. Which I'll probably forget, but that's okay. At least we're gonna do Coconut Island faster than before.
Jeez, I almost cleared the um, raft. Hello? <laughs> Interesting. Okay, well, that's not going well. I really don't like the balls. They maneuver in very weird, sketchy ways. At least I like they settle in place once you've gotten them there. And like they don't they don't uh get out once you're once you've got them set. Not too bad. The ball section took way too long, but we saved a little bit of time earlier doing the other way of doing it. Not gonna not sure I'm gonna reconcile my splits being jacked up. Technically, uh, can you uh, you can technically edit your splits in the middle of it and like this cannon cutscene plus the loading screen afterwards takes long enough where I could probably actually get it get it done. Yeah, this will be probably over 20 minutes. Why are you telling me to come over there? I've not even uh, unlocked that race yet. I've not unlocked any races yet, actually. Okay, Ancient Ruins, uh, not the worst. Getting the boxes to break is kind of the hard part, because they're a little bit picky about how you break them. Not this one. The ones if you take the lower path, which I think is the better path for this. Yeah, like that one. Didn't keep my speed there, that's alright. Too bad. Should be like a 41's really good actually. Bumped on a few things, but we didn't fall into the water. Actually, we almost fell in the water, which would have been funny. It's really hard to fall into the water there. I've not done it yet, even though I'm not really like actively trying to avoid it. Okay, so we got Spooky Swamp, which. The strats we have for it right now are a little sketchy. So we'll see how it goes. It's not, I, I definitely probably can improve the route of it a little bit. it. <laughs> they patched it from five seconds ago. Heck. Here we go. All right. Ooh, yeah, we're like 10 seconds behind where you want to be there if you get first try for jumping up there. Oh jeez. Spooky. Not a really fast completion, obviously the one jump off the sign was slow enough or it would have been just fast to do it the normal way, but doesn't it always go that way? I think we waddled our way up there into a barely a gold medal. Yeah. Just barely. 
We might not get one on Yeti Ridge. I don't know, that level's... I mean, I, I got close to it when I was practicing it, just based on just kind of throwing myself at it, but... It is definitely going to be over 20 minutes, because I still have two more levels to do and then two races. The races are pretty quick, though. But there's less dialogue in this section. That's the main thing. Like, there's a lot of dialogue in the early... The first five you do, there's a bunch of pop-ups and dialogues and stuff that kind of slow things down. But, I mean, it still is, like, about a... Roughly, a, like, 40, 50 seconds between ending a level and fin uh, starting the next one. That's unfortunate, but not a big deal. There we go. Ugh. Oh jeez, okay. Well, let me retry this. Uh, I just didn't hold my jump long enough. Where did I take damage from already? Be able to skip the. Ooh! I jumped and go through. Not a gold. Just the death was kind of bad. It's close though. Not close really, but <laughs> I was close to not dying. How about that? It's more what I meant. All right, cool. So we completed all the bonus worlds. Um, did all that, so let's see, we need to do the Charmy Farm final level that we haven't done yet, and then we need to do both the races. No splitting on this. The race one will just be a really long split. Yeah, Yeti Ridge. Yeti Ridge and Spooky Swamp are one of the longer splits now. Oh, this level's a mess. I forgot. Definitely a way to skip past these cycles, and I'm not the most comfortable doing it. I try to rush this a little bit too much to get onto the next platforms, but like, you can probably make that one. I do definitely can, but. Ooh, let me not fall off. Like an IL, I think you definitely go for all that, but for real time, it might actually be beneficial not to. Going for that was spooky enough. Don't know what the gold time for this is. It's probably like 115. Oh, it's actually 125. I literally said I wasn't going to split for that, and then I did. <laughs> it's kind of awkward. You have to come back this way and then go back and do the races, but it's all right. There's not a better way to do it because the game won't let you do the fourth level until you fight the boss. So, yeah.
Yeah, this will be this will be under 25 minutes. Wait, you can do that? You can input a dash when you land? That's actually funny. It's extremely limited use. Well, well, well. Two pretty good speedrunning levels chosen for the races, which is kind of nice. Alright, let's see how this goes. I guess I should watch what they do on this level as well, and um, try to potentially emulate that. Because I do know they did some funky stuff on the bonus world race that I ended up stealing for routing. But, like, I don't even see them when I'm doing this. So what are they doing? It can't be that fast. Though I can get a 29 on this and I got a 31, so... I'm obviously a slowpoke. One more power cell. One more. I imagine you do the final split when the last power cell pop-up actually appears. Okay, so this is this mainly comes down to the raft skip and that ends up working. I should have to pull back a little bit so that I don't go over the raft and potentially like in the water. Probably a good, par good problem to have, excuse me. Gotta see the last power cell. We'll split on the actual power cell appearing. Cool. 